Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour and today we're going to have a look at my Improve Your series. Today we've got some replays from a guy called Amar. He's playing under the name Striker in the red color GLA on a tournament desert here. He's playing against the guy in green, IR Tiger. Please someone let me know if this is the same Tiger from my uh, 1v1v1 free-for-all games because... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I've got I've got a strong liking for that guy. I don't know if it's the same guy in this replay or not. Um, okay, so yeah, this is not going to be a normal replay cast. This is basically where I'm going to be looking at either a loss or maybe um, a narrow victory. Maybe there's some major mistakes where it made through and maybe you want to um, improve your style. Maybe you want to improve your gameplay. Maybe you want to wonder why, why you lost or whatever. Um, in this case, Striker does lose the game. I'm not going to... Um, watch the replay like like a uh, normal game i'm not going to watch the whole replay either we're going to be fast forwarding a lot and basically trying to find out why striker lost so basically first of all i'm just going to fast forward um a little bit going to kind of see key points we've got some terrorists going through the center i noticed straight away they're on the cars edition um, and the car is taken late so they're not playing um like a no cars like just unmentioned rule or a rule they've agreed before the car is taken and takes out a flamer um, what else have we got? Uh, this tunnel's trying to be built on the center. Scorpion goes down there. Tech RPG picks off a dozer. Picks off a truck as well. Um, that tunnel is completely denied. Worker goes down. A flamer coming through the center. This tunnel is going down. Tech RPG just went down to the mines. Massive push through the center. Um, strike his base going down. Palace is being built. Tunnel is going down. There's a few scorpions out now with rockets, but they go down. Um, main base dead. Palace cancelled or sold. A load of tunnels drop down and ultimately does fend this off for now. 4,100 in the bank for Tiger. Um, striker on very little now. He's on two supplies. A few tunnels built. Flamers and um, Battlemasters. Really deadly combination. Troop crawlers even the mix. Main base going down. Every building has gone down and Tiger gets the win pretty comfortably. I don't think Tiger was in any difficulty at any point or in any danger of losing the game at any point throughout that. So we are going to jump back into that game um, and I'm going to point out a few um, additional things. So Amar in his email to me, he actually sent me two replays, but this is the only one we're going to review for now. The other one we're going to have a look at in a separate game. Um, he said he thinks the mistakes are when he lost his tech RPG at the 3 minutes 30 mark. He also said, um, um, I sent my Scorpions to fight um, into the middle in in the early game, which I lost. Yeah, correct, that did happen. And he also didn't have enough tunnels in his main supply base. Um, and he only had one tunnel in mid. Okay, so going over them, then he said, losing his tech RPG at 3 minutes 30. Um, he did lose it, and it probably did hinder him, but I don't think that's the reason he lost the game. Um, he also said he sent the Scorpion to fight in the middle. I don't think that's the reason he lost the game, but it's not helping him. And also didn't have enough tunnels in his main base. Um, he only had one tunnel in mid. Okay, I don't... I agree all of them were kind of mistakes and need to be worked on, and he recognizes that. But there is one key point there that he said. He said um, only having one tunnel in mid, and that is the key point that I'm going to focus on in a minute. First of all, um, one thing I want to point out is these two terrorists are going through the center. I'm just going to pause that. These terrorists, I don't know if they're in guard mode or not, but um, I'm pretty sure if I was playing against this, this tunnel was also slow at being built, by the way, very, very slow. That worker stood there for a while whilst that barracks was already upgraded and didn't build the tunnel. So that worker would have been slow. I'm pretty confident I would have been able to build a supply there, get a truck through and kill that worker and stop that worker. Maybe even get over here and try and kill some workers over here as well. So the way you stop that is by um, you have your two terrorists here and you want to go left and right straight away trying to block anything. And as soon as you see the truck going straight for your tunnel, then, then your terrorists go inwards. Because the two terrorists were kind of going through this way. I'm just going to pause it again there. Because the terrorists were kind of going through this way, if a truck had come down this side, he would have got... I'm pretty confident he would have got through. I don't know if they were on guard mode or maybe he would have reacted if they were on guard mode. But it looked to me like I would have been able to get a truck through. Um... If, if the truck hadn't been able to get through the center, the, tr the truck could have gone all the way right here. And I think this tunnel was slow to get up as well. So 
That's only minor. Um, the, the other main thing is, if there are cars on the map, I don't understand why the terrorists didn't go into the cars straight away. I thought there was some kind of rule agreed between them where you wouldn't be able to get the cars. But if you're playing on a normal tournament desert, which is the no bugs and no cars edition, the no bugs basically means that if you've got an RPG here and you've got and you've got a build in here, you put the RPG in there, the no bugs edition will go all, all the way around. Whereas this original edition, he will not go around. He'll just get stuck there on the cliffs. That's the main reason why you want to be pay, playing on that map, the um, TD no bugs, no cars, as well as because there's no cars and these cars are just ridiculously overpowered in the early game. And this is a free kill that you wouldn't have on a normal pro game because no, a normal pro game like versus me or versus any of the any competitive player, you're not going to be playing on um, um, on this cars edition. So that was a free kill. Uh, there's also a wasted car there that was um, the terrorist just went down over here for no reason. Okay, uh, next thing I want to point out, Tech RPG is being prepared, which, to be fair, is in my um, How to Play GLA series, which I'll come on to in a second. Um, but the next thing is this this tunnel here is um, very, very aggressive, and this worker is wide out in the open. All a gat has to do, even if there was buildings, even if there was a garrison in here, here, which says not, by the way, I'm not sure where the other RPG is. Mm, you, but in the middle, you always want to get two RPGs on the sides, on the sides there, so the, so the tank can't push through. So that's actually a big mistake that I just missed. Um, but this worker here is way too far forward and way out in the open. So see exactly what's going to happen. This worker is not going to be able to finish this tunnel. Worker is going to have to run away because he recognizes it. He's busy with the, the tech RPG that's coming. But if we just fast forward a little bit, that scorpion's sent to his death. That's that's contributing. But the main thing here is. Um, Yo, actually, that scorpion going down, but also this tunnel is too far forward. A tunnel here and a tunnel here would have been much more beneficial and easier to defend against the oncoming attack. Um, here, um, that tech RPG is kind of, in my opinion, done, done its job now. Going in for the second attack is not worth it. And also, I know in my How to Play GLA series, I always say go for um, a tech RPG. And in 99% of situations, it's probably the right thing to do. But when you're against tank, you may want to rethink that. Especially if you're against a good player, and especially if um, you're against a player where you think he's going to be charging through the center. Um, the reason is, when this tunnel gets bust open, or when, when this tunnel goes down, and this army comes through the center, it's, uh, it's going to be... You're going to be on the back foot for the rest of the game. You need, to, you need to hold this point. And if you hold this point, this is the victory point. So if you can hold this and hold the middle, stop tank from getting the middle, you've probably won the game just based on that. So this, this tunnel here is so, so important... But meanwhile, Striker is busy over here and also risks going onto the mines. Actually, after you've seen an explosion there, but risks going onto mines. At this point in the game, you never want to risk going anywhere near a building. So, for example, that's got no mines on it. But I know if there was mines, it would probably be covering something like that. So whenever I'm going to the Tech RPG or Tech Terror, I'm not going to go anywhere near that. Unless I'm kind of in a desperate situation or unless I'm really confident there's no mines there. So you never want to really risk that. So that's a wasted RPG, a tech RPG. But at the same time, the focus has been taken away from that tunnel. This is the this is the single, or maybe not the single only reason, but this is the main reason for the loss of this game. Losing that tunnel. And then there's a couple of other mistakes after it. So at this point, Strike has only got 675, but that's because he's just spent 2,500 on this palace. Now, at this point... Striker is about to be dead. He's only got a few tanks in there and only a few RPGs. But even with that, it's probably not going to hold up very well against this. He's about to die. But he's just dropped down a palace, which means you're in this for the long game. A, a palace you don't really build unless you want to be building a Jarman. Which, by the way, a palace takes an, an enormous amount of time to build. So it's going to take a couple of minutes from now. Maybe not a couple of minutes. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's a, it's a long time. He's going to be way dead before this palace gets up. And I just know that from kind of experience. If, if you lose this middle, tank is going to be coming at you like, um, like a steamroller. You do not want to be playing this in the long game right now. The only time you want to be building a palace really is let's say you're holding the middle. You're holding the right. You're holding the left. You've got a tech RPG and cause a load of damage. Fine, drop down a palace or maybe get your oil and then drop down a palace. But at this point, this is probably the worst point in any game where you can be dropping down a palace. At this point, you want to be, I want to have five workers or six workers on there. Um, and I want to be dropping down tunnel, 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 
all my money is going to be invested in tunnels and scorpions because I'm going to go into pure survival mode to try and take on this massive onslaught that's coming now. And if I just fast forward, the onslaught is coming. These two tunnels are way too close together. So generally, you want to spread them out. I'd have one there facing that way. I'd have one there, one there, one there. So when tank attacks in, he, he doesn't know which angle he's going to get attacked from. So if he, if he focuses in here... In those two tunnels, there's only one place he's going to get popped from, and that's this probably this tunnel or, or maybe this one. If if it's a bad pop, this one. If it's a good pop, this one. But if you had tunnel, 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 tank has a real hard time thinking. Okay, if I go if I go over here, he's going to pop out here and pick off these gats, and then as soon as I go over there, he's going to go back in and then pop from this one and then take out some more. And that's exactly what GLA wants to be doing. But because he's dropped down the palace. He does try to pop, but he picks off one unit, tries to go back. He's lost everything. Well, he lost both tanks. Now his main base had to cancel the palace. And pretty much it. That's it. I'm not going to bother carrying on because it's a, a lost cause. You, you could probably still claw it back from here, but there's already been so many, um, so many errors or mistakes so far. And I don't want to... Um, take any credit away from Striker. He seems like a decent player. He seems like he knows what he's doing. But there's just certain little bits that if he wants to be beating a good tank player, like Tiger seems good, he's going to have to just up his game a little bit um, and just correct some, some things. Um, so yeah, the main point was a bad time to drop the palace down. If that situation does arise, you want to be dropping down all them tunnels. But the very main point and the whole focus I'm going to put on this replay is them two tunnels in the center. That tunnel there was a mistake and a little bit too too greedy sure if that tunnel had got up and you had a few scorpions behind it to back it up yeah that would have been really good to really good to hold on and w probably would have been hard for tank to push through but the problem is is that tunnel going to get up personally um i would have built a tunnel here if i was playing standard then i would have done a tunnel over here and as soon as the gat comes maybe sneak inside of there you'd have an rpg inside of there by the way which um striker didn't do in this replay and then slowly creep forward the tunnels like one there one there slowly creep forward maybe even get two workers in the center and the tech rpg i know i say in my gla um how to play gla series always make a tech rpg and in most cases yeah it's going to work but if you're against a good tank player like this in that case only i probably would scrap the tech rpg or maybe use it defensively so for example when um yeah, you could use it very defensively, actually. So, for example, when that early flamer comes in in the beginning, using the tech RPG to try and take it out. That one there that got killed by the Terra car won't be happening in pro games. When the when the flamer comes to attack the tunnels, use the tech RPG to defend it. Um, I'm also going to show you um, an alternate build order that you can use. Um, ignore my name. I was playing undercover again. <laughs> I'm also going to show you an alternative build build order that you can use i liked his fake arms dealer and i liked his fake barracks by the way i didn't pick that up but I, those are two things that i did like right so i'm gonna do my normal five workers gonna do my fake barracks um tunnel over here um it's always five workers no matter what build order you're going to be doing you can pretty much always do um, five workers. So I've done five. I'm going to do a completely different build order to what I taught you before. So the difference here is I want to send two workers to the center. I've got um. I'm going to skip my tunnel in the main base. Got two terrorists coming. Um, tunnel there. Actually, I've done this wrong. I've done this wrong. <laughs> that that worker. So we're going to do fake barracks. Oh, sorry, fake um, arms dealer. That worker there was supposed to go over here the whole time. That was a mistake. So I've got my two terrorists. I'm going to grab the car. You see how I did the terrorist more over there? And get in the center like this. You can even, before you upgrade the, the war factory, you can even drop down more tunnels in the center. There's no reason why um, you have to upgrade that straight away. This would have obviously been up much quicker if I had sent the worker in the right place. You can even then um, even then build um, even more tunnels. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Obviously, these wouldn't be in the in the real game because you're not going to really be playing with them. Yeah, this what this bit here was a mistake, but then my economy would start going up a little bit more. I could then upgrade um, up this, drop down a tunnel in my main base. 
What do you want? We, want not we live in peace. You change your mind building Jumped on a tunnel there. I will obey. Oh, okay, okay. This would have been quicker, so my economy would have been there. Sorry for me to say, trust me to get it wrong on my on my tutorial. Upgrade this and then go straight into scorpions and um and rockets. I did have a look through my uh, gentle library. You can also like scrap that tunnel, M maybe scrap those two and just try and get this faster if you want it. If you're worried, um, maybe he's going to push down the right hand side or whatever. You can get scorpions out faster. But the the main thing is those two tunnels there are going to be up super quick, quicker than tank can get in the center. As soon as he comes to the flamer, you want to be going back. Pop out your RPGs. Then at the same time, want to be getting... Um, you can skip the tech RPG altogether and just go straight into Scorpions. And then behind that, get the um, get the oil. I'll just do that one more time, just so you can see. And also, I'll do it correctly this time, I promise. Then if it'll put me at the top of the map now or not. It's going to put me at the top. Five workers. Fake barracks. Don't have to do that all the way in the middle. Uh, what's going on? I will try to hurry. What do you want with me? Does it have to be so far? So first worker can either go to the right side to your oil or it can go to your main supply, whatever you want. Okay, okay, I will work. I will not you change your mind. I'm hungry. I'm just a peasant. Oh, okay, okay, I will work. I will obey. I will go. Upgrade. Two terrorists. Tunnel, tunnel. So personally, what I would do here is put this on guard mode. Let's say I see something because he starts running. Then you can either you can either go and meet him here. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'd go and meet him here. But as, as soon as you see he's, if he starts going around, then with the second terrorist, then put it on guard mode like that. Then you can either drop down another tunnel or you can just leave your workers there to repair and then evacuate when you need to. You can also send the terrorists down here. This is going to be upgraded faster now, so you see at 1 minute 30 I'm already upgrading it. You can also put one RPG over here just to scout. And then I, can, I, I like to do one scorpion and then one rocket. And as soon as that flamer comes to the center, the flame, the, um, the scorpion can go straight over there. And now I have the choice. I can either drop down this tunnel here or go straight into rocket. I probably would go straight into rocket. Just the hotkey for that is K, as I said in a recent game. And then I would drop down this tunnel. Um, so let's say my rocket upgrade is done. Let's say for some reason, even though I've done this build order here, let's say for some reason I've still lost the middle of loads of flamers, loads of battle masters have come through the center. As soon as that happens, I want to be dropping down tunnels. Tunnels, tunnels, spread out like that. And always ensure I'm replacing the workers that I've lost um, by doing that. So you see how they're more spread out? No palace, there's no need for a palace. It's not going to get up. And then I'm kind of in this situation. Um, you want to kind of hold the hold the middle nice nicely with those scorpions and with the rockets with these bunkers. Um, every attack that he comes, you want to kind of shut down with taking minimal losses. I know it's all right for me to say, and it's harder to do in reality. You also want to try and um, creep forward. You don't want ever want the, the only tunnel to be right next to your supply because if that tunnel goes down, then the supply goes down. Um, that's waypoint is wrong, but that's the kind of opening that I would go for against um, an aggressive tank player through the center. So next time you're playing. Uh, GLA versus Tank versus that Tiger guy. You know what he's going to do. Tank's sole mission is going to be to try and push through the center. It's, it's very little um, in Tank's interest to attack down one of the sides like that because GLA can just counter through the middle or counter down the right hand side. So Tank really wants to be pushing through the center and he really is money hungry. So he wants to get these supplies. Without those supplies, he's going to be having a real, real, real hard time. So you're playing for the um, you're playing for the long game in this situation because you've got the money advantage. Um, sorry, not yeah. Well, Money advantage, yeah. When you get worker shoes, you've got the money advantage, but and you've got the long term uh, secondary economy um, advantage because you've got black markets and they're better than tank hackers. And um, so you want to be playing for the long game. You've got ranged units as well, so you can be mixing in, could mix in a Marauder, you could mix in a Scud Launcher, could be mixing in buses and um, buggies once you get to Palace. 
you're playing for basically the long game. So trying to use attack RPG in the beginning is all well and good, but don't hang around messing with it too long because um, it only takes one of tanks units being a GAT. That's only $700 and pretty, pretty powerful against tech RPG. It's going to be um, killing it very, very easy. Um, and even if you manage to pick off that gap by some miracle, then it's not all that much damage because that's only cost tank $700. So um, the, the prime focus here is hold in that middle. Do not let him push through the middle or you will probably lose the game. So yeah, that wraps up uh, this improve your um, episode. Um, GLA versus tank. Um, on the tournament desert. So GG guys, hopefully you uh, learned something today. Um, see you in the next video.